error pro use this an analytical approach, not simulation. In order to compute mean number of errors, it generates a discrete time Markov chain that is shown on the right side. The Markov chain is presented as a directed graph with transition probabilities attached to its arcs. Each node of this graph represents the current state of the system using two types of parameters. Right part, highlighted in green, represents the state of the data, in which of four data slots we have errors at the moment. False means no error, true means an error. The left part, highlighted in red, represents the state of the control flow. It shows an ID of the element which have been executed. For example, after A with probability 0.7 we execute B. That's why in the Markov chain we also have an arc to state 15 where ID control flow ID equals to 2 and it is ID of element B. In order to compute this Markov chain we are using a software called PRISM. It is a model checker that supports different, type, different types of probabilistic models, including discrete-time Markov chains. In order to compute a discrete-time Markov chain with PRISM, we need to provide it to PRISM in a special symbolic format. The AirPro automatically generates a file which contains the description of this discrete-time Markov chain in the PRISM format. Also, AirPro generates another file. It calls a properties file. And this file specifies what we need to compute. Each row specifies here an expression that tells the prism that we are interested in the mean number of passages through specific states, which represent errors in these four data. After the computation, PRISM returns us this file with the numbers and basically these are the number of errors which are parsed and shown in the graphic user interface of the error pro. Uh, maybe you've already mentioned that these discrete Markov chains can grow very fast. In the worst case, the number of states can reach this number, where NE is the number of elements and ND is the number of data in the error propagation model. It means that the number of states grows exponentially. Such big models cannot be computed even with PRISM. That's why in the error pro we are using two techniques. First is an automatic nesting. We have an algorithm that transforms a big flat model into a hierarchical model and we compute each level separately. The second technique is data flow slicing. We will tell about them in the next videos. Thanks for watching.